Hello, everyone. I'm Hugo Tai. I'm specialized in providing help to choose a battery plant machines from China for many years. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the plant curing chamber and share the features and performance of the chamber with you. Okay, we're gonna do this in six parts. First, the, the appearance of the chamber. This is a model XD21 plant curing chamber. It is the best seller in the Chinese market. Many of the large battery manufacturers are using this machine, such as Tianan Group, Chaowei Group, and there are lots of other model of chambers with different appearances. They all share the same basic airflow system, but with different structures and different control system for temperature and humidity. The chambers can provide a maximum curing temperature from 65 degrees to 120 degrees and maximum air pressure from 0.3 kPascal to 0.8 M Pascal. With these chamber characteristics, we can control the portion of 3BS and 4BS in the plants and finish the curing and the drying of 500,000 pieces of plants within less than 48 hours. The chambers can also be applied to all the plane placement forms, such as horizontal stacking, vertical stacking, or hanging placement. If you have set the process instruction list into the chamber touch panel, such as temperature, humidity time, uh, and uh, at the next job is as simple as heating food in the microwave oven. Load the plant, close the door, push the start button, and take the plant out after all the curing and trying processes have been done. And about the size, the chamber can be customized according to the client's requirement. We provide the most suitable chamber for your factory site and your production. Now, let's have a look at the differences between chambers and figure out how to choose a chamber. The differences are in part A, the chamber component, part B, the main control system, and part C, other mechanisms. Okay, let's see part A. We provide three options for the chamber component material. First, the external and the internal material of the chamber is made of stainless steel. So, the chamber will not get corrosion even in the working condition with acid and the high humidity. Second, the internal material of the chamber is made of stainless steel while using iron for external. But according to our experience, the external of the chamber will start to get corrosion after eight years. Third, concrete structure. Although it is not obscure enough, I personally prefer that very much because it is with the least investment but with a good performance. It is a very good material for locking the temperature and humidity stably, which means good for plant quality. And about the doors. There are two options for the chamber. First, the double hand doors. Second, the lifting doors. 
What is the door good for? Well, we need to seal the chamber with the door. When we use a hand door for sealing, the steam will come out from the tiny space between the bottom of the door and the floor. The higher the temperature is in the chamber, the more the steam comes out. If we use lifting doors, that will not happen. So, if you are going to cure the plants at a temperature above seventy degrees, a lifting door is the best choice, and the material of the door that is just just the same as the chamber material. There is nothing to say.、Uh, let's skip a part B to C at first. We are going to talk about part B later because that is the key story. Okay, let's see part C.、Uh, the other mechanisms. Most of the mechanisms in this part are applied for performance upgrades such as air pressure control, water storage, and water drainage, and the plant pellet conveyor. These are benefit of producing better plant. If your factory is not equipped with an industrial steam supplement,、um, we also provide energy options such as the heating exchanger and the steam generator, by electrical power or gas power. So, you can choose a curing chamber with an energy source that matches your local energy condition most. Now, we come to the main story. Let's take away the chamber components, the mechanism for from a separate and the energy sources. What has been left are in this picture: the main control and executive mechanism, and they are working together for controlling time, temperature, humidity, and air circulation. The PLC computer will compare the set parameters to the current parameters from the I/O devices, such as the temperature and humidity sensor, interactive touch screen, and then send the the operation signal to the executive、uh, mechanisms to adjust the temperature, humidity, and air flow in the chamber. The parameters are shown. On the touch screen in real time, you can operate the chamber in、uh, automatic mode by setting the instruction list, or you can just、uh, operate it manually. In practical production, in practical production,、um, we need the chamber to produce plants、uh, with the same good quality, right? Mm. The software in the control system is one of the main insurance for getting plants not、uh, not only with good quality but also、uh, with good uniformity. And one of other one of the other insurance is executive mechanism. They are doing the final jobs. Uh, about about uh, the internal air circulation mechanism. This is the most most basic part of of a curing and drying chamber, because a good environment with good uniformity is created by this part.、Um, it it it, it、uh, the circulation repeats、uh, like、uh, in this way. When the air circulation system works, the main fans start to rotate, suck air. From the inside of the chamber, and then pump the air into the chamber through the ducts on the left and the right side.、Uh, then the air goes from the bottom to the top of the chamber, then into the duct in the top middle. Why do we design the the air circulation like this? Why don't we just let the air goes from the left side to the right side?、Mm, about these questions,、mm, the answer is、uh, 
we all know that the hot air moves up. If we let the air go from the left side to the right side, indeed, they will not go as you wish. So the plants will not get the same environment. Some of the plants will be overdried or overcured. Some of them will not be dried or cured enough. That is a horrible thing, for using plants with too many differences in qualities into one plant battery into one battery. Besides, we can take advantage of the hot air moving up to get a lower power consumption. About uh, the steam injection system. We need a steam treatment for the plants. Um, the steam injection just goes like the air circulation. Uh, the piers will control the steam flow module to let the steam come in at both sides from the bottom of the chamber. Then the steam will go along with the air circulation. Normally, the paste get uh, crystallized to 3 bs and 4 bs and uh, the grid get get corrosion uh, when the steam injection system is working uh, you, you you can you you can choose to turn on or off the steam in the operation instruction list uh, the list is also named as the recipe uh, for different stages next about uh, the auxiliary heating heating system. We know if the steam injection system works, both the temperature and the humidity will go up. So we put a heating exchanger into the air circulation pass. The exchanger uses steam as the heat source. Also, you can choose electric electricity instead. When the exchanger works, it will heat the air in the circulation pass. So the temperature of the chamber goes up, and all it, all the works will be under control. Um, all the works is is under control by the PRC. About the, the auxiliary humidification system, we use the special pump um, to let the pressure let the pure water runs at a very high pressure. When the water injects out of the noses, it will be atomized and join into the air. The humidity of the chamber will go up without temperature going up. The atomized water will inject into the air duct at the both sides of the main fan or inject into the chamber directly. Each one can be turned on or off separately and controlled by PRC. This system works not only during the curing process, but also helps a lot when you are loading the plants into the chamber. We know normally we will spend several hours to finish the loading. If we do nothing in that time, the planes will lose water gradually, and that may cause a failure of curing. So during that time, the axillary humidification system will give protection to the plants by providing an environment with high humidity, but without heating the temperature up. The plants that have been loaded into the chamber will not lose weight. Will not lose water when they are waiting for loading other plants. Next, about the dehumidification system. We make air, air that with high humidity, we make air out of the chamber to low down the humidity. There are two kinds of ways to do that. The first way is the suction method. There are two ducts connected with a dehumidification fan. They are settled at the top inside of the chamber. When the fan works, 
the air will be pumped out through these two ducts directly to the outside of the chamber. The second way is ventilation method. We have four ventilation holes at the top of the chamber. When the holes are open, the hot air with humidity will go out automatically through the holes. But this way is less efficient than suction method. Uh, next, about the fresh air supplement system. Air supplement、um, is used to adjust temperature and the oxygen.、Um, we set an air throttle, throttle with a fan before the heating exchanger. When it works, the fresh air will be sucked in, will be sucked in through the throttle. And then join into the air of the air circulation mechanism. In practical use, the air supplement system normally runs with dehumidification system. You 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 can just、uh, define their cooperation details in the program. Okay. Let's give a summary of the part B. There are different models of curing chambers with a different software or steam modules or dehumidification methods. How how can I understand them? What what is the business with me? Well, we know the temperature is one of the key factors for getting three BS or four BS, and it is one of the key factors of The curing recipe. They determine the plant. They determine the performance of the plant. So whatever they are serving according to your curing requirements. The easiest way to choose a model or find the difference in Part B is the curing temperature. So, just tell me your curing temperature requirement. Your energy source supplement, your plants, your plant stacking method, and your production amount. I will help you to choose a suitable cha- chamber, and also with a suitable chamber material component, the door and the other mechanisms. Oh, speaking of the delivery and the commissioning. Before we sign a contract, we will confirm the drawing and the layout with you. After we finish producing the parts, transmitting the parts, we will send our engineers to your site to finish the installation, training, and commissioning. And it is very convenient for get to my company. We are. About two、uh, hundred、uh, kilometers far away from Shanghai city, you can get to my company、uh, in less than one and a half hours by train or by cars from Shanghai. I'm Hugo Tai from China Sanrigong Company. If you have any question about battery plant machines from China, such as plant cure chamber. Or grid casting machine, or lead strip punching line, or grid strip pasting line. I would be very happy to give you my advice for that. You can get to me by Facebook, WhatsApp, WeChat, or email. Any way you like, I will be there for you. Thanks for watching, and the best wishes to you.